This is how to make your own 3D printed tensegrity table. All the needed files will be linked in the description. We're going to first start off by screwing the bottom base to one of the arms using two 8mm screws. You're also going to want to do the same for the other arm and the top plate. All the hardware used for this project is M3. All the information you need regarding this project will be linked in the description. Next you're going to grab this little bracket which fits into both of the arms. All this is going to do is hold both sides in place as you continue to assemble the table. Uh, you're going to use two 12 millimeter screws to attach the bracket to the arms. Next, we're going to grab two more 8mm screws and attach them to the end of the arms. This is what will be holding the center string. Next, grab three more 8mm screws and attach it to the top plate. This is what will be holding the outer strings. Next, you're going to grab these little tensioner parts and insert the M3 nuts as shown. Now we can add these to the bottom of the base. Make sure the side with the nut is facing the outer wall. Then grab a 20 millimeter screw and partially thread it in. Don't worry, we're gonna tighten these later on. Now you can grab the four millimeter screws and attach it to the end of the tensioners. Do not tighten them all the way as we are still yet to attach the string. For the string, I recommend using something relatively strong. I'm using 10 pound fishing line. You're going to use a piece that's roughly a foot long and first tie it to the top screw. I'm using a uni knot. I found that it works really well. Also, if you're using fishing line, I would recommend fluorocarbon or braided as monofilament seems to stretch too much. Also here I'd advise not cutting the tag end too close as after we tighten it there's a chance that the knot will be undone. For the bottom I'm going to wrap it around the bottom screw once and then do four to five half hitch knots. I change it up here because this method helps take out a lot of the slack in the line. Next you're going to want to get a piece of string roughly one and a half feet long and tie it around one of the screws on the top plate. Here again I'm going to be using a uni knot as I find it works well. And then just repeat this step for the remaining two screws on the top plate. I forget to show this next part, but once you're done with this step, you're going to want to take the ends of the strings and thread it through the holes found on the base that directly line with the screws. Once you have the strings coming through the holes in the bottom base, you're going to want to wrap the string around the screw that is found directly across it and then tighten down the screws. It also helps to wrap the string clockwise around the screw. That way when you tighten the screw, it pulls the string in. Now we can also finally remove the bracket. You might have to give it a little wiggle as there may be a little bit of tension on it. So by now your table should be standing, but it may not be leveled. So all we're going to do is find the side that is higher and tighten the string that belongs to that side. For example here you can see the right side is higher so I'm going to tighten the string that's on the right side using the adjustment screw that's connected to it. Now this next step is optional but I like to go around and tension all the strings a little. The extra tension adds a bit more stability to the platform. 
If you find yourself maxing out the tensioners and the table still a bit wobbly, what you can do is loosen all the tensioners and take out any slack in the line. This can be done by pulling on the string while you loosen the screw and then re-tighten it. After this, the table may need to be re-leveled, so just follow the steps shown previously. Lastly, you can go ahead and trim off any excess string coming from the tensioners. And there you guys have it, your table is now complete. Hope you guys enjoyed and were able to follow along. I will leave links to all the 3D printed files in the description below. Thank you for watching.